Hello guys, welcome to Interchange 2 Unit 7. What do you use this for? In this unit, we will discuss about technology. Also, we will see infinitive and imperatives for suggestions and infinitive and gen for uses and purposes. Let's begin. Inventions we can't live without. These are things or inventions that people didn't have in the past, but now they do. Before, they didn't need them, but now they cannot live without them they cannot stop using these inventions. The first one is the smartphone. Smartphones are very useful nowadays. People use them to send messages, to record videos, to watch also videos and TV shows, and to take classes online. The second one is digital cameras. People use digital cameras to make videos and also to take pictures. An advantage of having a digital camera is that you can send all the pictures to your computer with a cable. And if you don't like a picture, you just erase it and you can take another one. The next one is Internet. The Internet is a network that allows people to connect with others. Computers and cell phones can connect each other using this network. The next one is e-readers. E-readers are programs or applications that you can use to read electronic books, such as PDF readers. You can use your tablet to read books. The next one, tablet computers. Tablet computers are computers that are compact, that are small, and you can carry them in your backpack. They are useful when you want to read a book or watch a movie or study. Streaming TV. You can watch your TV shows using internet, having a connection to internet. For example, we have streaming services such as Netflix, in which you can watch your favorite shows or favorite movies. The next one is robots. Robots are used to perform dangerous things, to do things that humans cannot do. 3D printers. 3D printers are printers that convert what is in a computer into a physical object. You can create car parts, you can create cell phone parts and other objects from the computer to reality. The next one is driverless carts. These carts are carts that don't need a person to drive them. They can drive themselves. They don't need another person. We just need to program the car to tell the car where we want to go and the car is going to drive for us. The next one is GPS technology. The GPS technology is going to tell us where we are. It's going to help us giving directions. If we want to get to a place, we can use this system to help us. For example, we have the application that is called Google Maps. That application can help us get to places if we don't know how to get to those places. The next one, drones. Drones are flying objects. These objects are used for people to record videos and to take pictures from high places. And to finish, we have a very important invention, which is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a technology that allows people to connect without cables. Wi-Fi is very popular because if you have a cell phone or a computer, you don't need a cable to have access to the internet. You just activating the Wi-Fi option and you connect to the internet. How do you use your smartphone? These are some uses, some things that people do with their phones. So let's read. I use my smartphone to send messages. People use smartphones to send messages in applications such as WhatsApp, FaceTime, Instagram, and so on. I use my smartphone for watching videos. Also, people watch videos on websites such as YouTube or Instagram or any other website for videos. The next one, I use my phone to take photos. People take selfies with their photos. The next one, I use my smartphone to post on social media sites. When they want to post videos and pictures and information on social media sites, such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, Yahoo, or any other of those websites. The next one, I use my smartphone for doing school assignments. To do school assignments is like to do homework. Some people use phones 
to do homework, to investigate, or to send the homework using the phone or any other application. The next one, I use my smartphone to send emails. If you want to send an email, a job email, or any other personal email, you can use your phone to send Gmails, Hotmails. I use my smartphone to shop online. If you want to buy from your house, you don't want to go to a physical store, you can use your phone. Any application such as Amazon.com or eBay, you can use them and you can shop from home with your phone. And the next one, I use my smartphone to check the weather. If you want to know if it's going to rain or not, you can use your phone. You can ask Google, Siri, Cortana, or any other of those applications, and they can tell you the weather report. The next one, I use my smartphone to read ebooks. You can read ebooks, electronic books, PDF books with your phone. And the last one, I use my smartphone for listening to music. That is a popular use that people have for smartphones. They use their phones to listen to music on Spotify or YouTube. And you, how do you use your smartphone? Let us know in the comments below. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives and gerunds can be used to say the uses of purposes of something or to express what we can do with things. For example, I use my cell phone to watch videos on YouTube. People use dogs for finding drugs. In this case, the use of a cell phone is to watch videos on YouTube. And for the second one, people use dogs to do what? To find drugs or for finding drugs. So here we are using infinitives and gerunds to say what we do with things. After two, you use the verb in the base form. This is infinitive. And after four, we need to use the verb in the gerund form, the verb with ing. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. So here to create sentences with infinitive, we are going to use the subject plus use plus the invention. The invention is the object or the thing that you use. Then we have the infinitive. Remember the infinitive it's to plus the verb in the base form. And after that we have the complement. For example, people use cell phones to listen to music. People use cell phones to listen to music. Next, people use drones to record videos. People use drones to record videos. I use YouTube to watch grammar videos. I use YouTube to watch grammar videos. Mia uses her computer to play video games. Mia uses her computer to play video games. Here, we need to conjugate the verb use based on the subject. People is plural, so use. People is they, they use. Again, people, it's they, they use. I. I use. Now Mia is third person. Mia is she. That's why we say Mia uses. Mia uses her computer to play video games. The infinitives are to listen, to record, to watch, and to play. Now to create sentences with a gerund, we need the subject plus use plus the invention or the object that we use plus for plus gern. Gern is a verb in the ing form, the verb plus the ing, and the complement. What is provoking the gern? Then preposition for. After the preposition for, you need gern. If you mention a verb after for, you need gern because for it's a preposition. So let's read. People use cell phones for listening to music. People use cell phones for listening to music. People use drones for recording videos. People use drones for recording videos. I use YouTube for watching grammar videos. I use YouTube for watching grammar videos. Mia uses her computer for playing video games. Mia uses her computer for playing video games. In this case, if you notice, the gerund is for and the verb plus ing. This is the gerund. Listening recording, 
watching and playing the verb plus ing if you notice the sentences are the same people use cell phones to listen to music people use cell phones for listening to music the idea it's the same we express the same in two different forms here the idea it's express using infinitive which is two plus the verb and here the idea is express using gerund which is the verb plus ing the meaning is the same in two different ways we will see now some more examples using infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes you can use your smartphone to make video calls you can use your smartphone for making video calls many people use tablet computers to learn languages many people use tablet computers for learning languages engineers use 3d printers to make car parts engineers use 3d printers for making car parts people can use the internet to get directions people can use the internet for getting directions companies use robots to perform dangerous tasks companies use robots for performing dangerous tasks the police use drones to look for criminals the police use drones for looking for criminals how much do you know about technology let's see here we will see some words related to technology problems with technology computer crash computer crashes occur when a program or an operated system stops functioning and exists identity theft identity theft is stealing of a person's private identification information software bugs a software bug it's an error in a computer program or system frozen screen frozen screen is an issue in which computers get too slow due to problems with hardware or software gadgets and devices flash drive a flash drive is a small memory storage device that plugs into a usb port on a computer solar power batteries solar power batteries are devices that reserve energy for later consumption that are charged by a connected solar system smart devices smart devices are mobile devices that connect to internet phone charger a phone charger is the accessory you plug into your phone or laptop when the battery power is low people who are into computers into is interested computer with a computer with it's a person who is an expert at computers early adopter an early adopter it's a person who starts using a product or technology as soon as it becomes available hacker a hacker it's a person who uses computers to gain unauthorized access to data geek a geek it's a person that is extremely interested in computers things to do online edit photos photo editing is the changing of images that can be digital photos illustrations prints or photographs on film check-in for a flight online check-in is a process in which passengers confirm their presence on a flight via the internet make international phone calls making international phone calls is calling people in other countries using a phone download apps downloading apps is transferring applications from the internet to your device with the intention of installing them this is the conversation for unit 7 in this conversation, we have two people talking about technology problems. Let's listen to them.
Page 47. Exercise 7. Conversation. What do I do now? Part A. Listen and practice. I can't believe my phone's frozen again. How long have you had it? About a year. It's not that old. Maybe someone hacked it. Really? You think so? No, I'm just kidding. It's probably just a virus. Oh, so what do I do now? First, you'd better install a good antivirus app. And be sure to update it. Okay, I'll download one now. What else should I do? Well, don't forget to reset all your passwords. That's a good idea. I never remember to change my passwords. One more thing. Try not to use public Wi-Fi networks. You're right. I have to learn to be more careful. Imperatives and infinitive for given suggestions. Use the imperatives be sure, make sure, remember, don't forget, and try plus infinitives to give suggestions or recommendations. For example, don't forget to charge the PC before you put it in your backpack. Be sure to use a strong password for your email account. So these are some recommendations or suggestions. And for these recommendations, we are using the imperative, don't forget, be sure, and the infinitives, to charge and to use, to give recommendations about technology. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Imperatives are used to give orders, instructions, and suggestions. Positive imperative sentences begin with a verb. For example, close, close is a verb. Close the site when you finish chatting. Negative imperative sentences begin with don't plus the verb in the base form. For example, don't use. Don't use your cell phone while charging. Those are recommendations. Infinitives are to plus a verb in the base form. Positive infinitives are to plus verb. And negative infinitives are not to plus the verb. For example, to change, that is the positive infinitive. Not to drink, that is the negative infinitive. Remember to change your password frequently. Try not to drink anything near your computer. Now to create sentences using imperatives and infinitives to give suggestions, we need the imperative, for example, be sure, make sure, remember, don't forget, and try. And then we need the infinitive. Remember, the infinitive is a verb with two. For example, to download, to charge, to lock, to reset, not to use. And then we have the complement. So let's read the examples. Be sure to download applications from safe websites. Make sure to charge your phone. Remember to lock your phone when you don't use it. Don't forget to reset your passwords. Try not to use public Wi-Fi networks. So these are recommendations about technology. Be sure and make sure express the same. The same happens with remember and don't forget. If you say, be sure to charge your phone or make sure to charge your phone is the same. And if you say, remember to lock your phone when you don't use it, or don't forget to lock your phone when you don't use it, it's the same. So be sure and make sure are similar, and remember and don't forget are similar too. Now let's see these recommendations. Be sure to download applications from safe websites. If you download something, an application, try to download the application in a place that is safe because sometimes applications contain viruses and if you download applications wherever you go then you can get viruses the next one make sure to charge your phone if you don't charge your phone you are not going to be able to use it later and you can damage the battery if you don't charge your phone remember to lock your phone when you don't use it if you are not using your phone lock it with a password because if you don't lock it, somebody is going to be able to use it, to use it. And then that person is going to have access to your conversations and everything that you have in your phone. 
The next one, don't forget to reset your passwords. It's recommended to reset passwords frequently because if somebody discovers your password and you don't change it, that person is going to have access to your accounts and things. And the last one, try not to use public Wi-Fi networks. If you use public Wi-Fi networks, the security in your phone or your device, it's not good because somebody can have access to your device using the network. Well, guys, that was everything for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.